Welcome back, friends. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, today we're going to be working on this area, the entry point to the greenhouse and also the two small beds I have here flanking the door. Also need to put down some gravel. It's a little bit sparse. It's, yeah, it, it, needs, it needs a little bit of touch up. Now, don't look too hard on these evergreens they are related friends but they are not siblings okay they are cousins they are not sisters and brothers they are not twins all right now I picked these up on Facebook marketplace they were an impulsive buy we've all been there we've done it now in store they are $129 per and I found them on marketplace for $40 and I just could not let them go I had to buy them so I also have these annuals that are stressed I mean stressed out the way these kids are stressing me out and they need to come out their containers and just flourish so these terracotta pots that I'm using they are from marketplace as well friends three years ago I bought them from an estate sale and they're still going strong I just love me a good secondhand piece that just keeps on giving you know a good secondhand piece that saves me money because I like to spend money on things that makes me happy but at the same time I like to save so I can spend more you know that make you know that that makes sense so we will be using these beautiful large terracotta pots and when you are lifting your pots friends always use your legs and not your back always use your legs and not your back So in each container, I use one pink lemonade super bells in the front. I've had these in my hanging basket, so I decided to just incorporate what's left over so everything will flow together. Then I added this beautiful bright pop of yellow, this lantana, gorgeous. You can see it right there. And then I had some of these just regular pink left over from a batch that I bought. And I just popped those in as well on the corners. It's going to be gorgeous. Just pinks, pinks and yellows always go great together. And this area is just gonna look like a bag of Skittles with all the colors. It's going to be beautiful and they should be happy in these containers. And now this bed on the right does not has it have any drip at the moment because once I run the drip in the veggie bed, the one on the right, that's where I'm gonna connect it from. Um, the other bed is connected on a separate line of drip so by the way these beds are already filled in these videos are just so behind friends but these beds are already filled in and um i'm just trying to get these videos out to you i'm about three weeks behind these pots and everything already planted uh so i'm doing my best to get everything to your friends now we're working on the in-ground planting i will be using grasses some some patients and some super tuning vista white which the sun patients and the vista white they're new to me i've never planted them before for in my garden especially the sun patients never and of course my girls they're here with me and I've been asked before how do I keep my chickens out of my garden beds and to be honest friends I, I, I don't or I, I really can't my chickens free range during the day whenever I'm home they only get locked in at night um, because of predators foxes raccoons you know wild animals at night but in the daytime 
when I'm not here, I also lock them in as well. My driveway does not have a gate. And even though my chickens are well trained, I do not leave them out because there are people who come up the street that does not live on my block and they find things very, they're very curious and they will stop and they'll stare. And I'm not giving them any opportunity to come into my yard really? and snatch up my girls. Really? I've heard stories and I've been there before where in the height of the pandemic, someone broke into our coop and stole our girls it, it, it was just crazy and um they did it for meat i felt like they did it for meat but ever since then we've beefed up our security system and everything like that but anyway this is the layout we have the grasses of course the girls <laughs> <laughs> the sun patience and the white my husband he loved this but after a plan today and he went out there and he saw it he loved it i think everything is going to marry together everything's going to work great together by the way this grass does not get that big it is a fireworks grass a graceful grass fireworks i think that's that's the name it gets about 30 inches tall but the tag is is not always accurate So this is the grass that I use. It's the Graceful Grasses Fireworks. Now it says it can get about 30 inches tall, but I've planted this before my garden with the right condition. It got it got taller. Um, compactum. Ooh, that went that went by fast. But the Super Tuna Minute is the white, but the Sun Patience, they're compactum purple Sun Patience. First time in my garden, they say they're sun loving, but the first couple of days they wilted like crazy. So I'm going to watch it and see and keep them well moist and see how they do. If not, I might have to pull them if they keep wilting and look like they're dying. And of course, my girls, how do I keep them out the beds? I don't. They scratch out my mulch. They poop everywhere. It's just a part of the garden. I mean, I could keep them locked in, but the eggs wouldn't taste so great. So I let them free range and pick grass, pick bugs, worms, whatever they want to do. Um, they don't always scratch out my things, but there are times that they do, especially if it's freshly laid mulch or soil.
And here we are friends, everything looks great. Everything is planted, watered in. Just need to bring in some gravel and freshen up the space. So just give you guys a quick peek on what's going on inside of here. So but when this video was recorded, um, it was it was exactly like this. There were no soil in these raised beds. And as you can see, I had six raised beds. You see those missing spots right there? There were two there, I removed them just to make a bigger opening for a fountain. We also made these beds higher. They were about, I think the regular, I think they were at eight inches with my original beds. And now they're two feet. If it was up to my husband, they would be about four feet up in my chest. Um, so the one on the right needs to be leveled. It's leaning towards the right. Uh, we need to level everything out, bring in gravel, bring in soil. Now with the greenhouse, at the time he had to caulk some places and the caulk that he used needed 14 days to cure friends. So it's still sitting there. We have yet to finish painting. But everything is slowly coming together i also have another veggie area just to let you guys know with six beds it's 20 by 20 and the beds are all i think three by six so this is not my only planting space for food uh the greenhouse i am slowly planting out everything but the more i plant out the more i buy and bring back in uh, but the shelves are getting emptied and everything is slowly coming out and even with less plants the greenhouse still looks so gorgeous so beautiful and i'm just i'm just so excited for the space it needs a good scrubbing it needs to be cleaned it is messy but it's still so pretty and um it's been so cool I, I didn't i don't need to use the fan right away the windows are just amazing big and open it feels amazing in there all right so here i laid down a uh, old tarp that i had and i also overlapped it on the existing gravel area i swept away the gravel put it down this is thick this doesn't have any holes for air or water to get through and this area is nothing but gravel so i don't mind using this i know for a fact weeds will not be able to grow through this okay so here I am just adding extra gravel just to freshen up the area and, you know, give it a little spruce. Let it look refreshed. You know, when you're exhausted and you're tired and all you need is a little vacation. And then you go on a vacation and you do sleep and just relax and you come back rejuvenated and fresh. That's what I'm doing with this space. This space has been through a lot. You see my kids? Yeah, this, this space has been through a lot. Everything looks amazing. So I hose down the gravel just to get off some of the excess dust and it looks so good, friends. This area is really coming together. Now, once again, the evergreens, they're related. They're not siblings, okay? They look different. I know this. So that's all I got done, friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.